Teresa Morgan, a professor from Oxford University, was asked in an interview for a book called Bullies and Saints. She was asked, what is the biggest impact on society today that Christianity has had? And she said, charity. She said, Christians are taught that God loves them absolutely. And on that basis, they can trust in God. They can love God. And because of that, they're given such an abundance of love. They can afford to love others with an enormous unreserved generosity. She goes on to say that with the idea of love goes care for the vulnerable. This is a world with no social safety nets, but Christian Christians create social safety nets. They are the people who are notorious for looking after the widows, the poor, and the orphan, the people who in most of society are just slung out on the streets. Paul, throughout the early church, reminded us over and over again the importance of serving the poor and looking after the poor. In Galatians 2.10, we see his heart again when it says, the only additional thing they asked was to remember the poor, and I was already eager to do just that. Throughout early church history, the early church provided for the poor, the sick, the disenfranchised through wars, persecution, famine, plague, social and societal reformation, the rise and fall of empires. And Jesus commanded his believers to love one another as we love ourselves. Early, early Christians adopted Jesus' teachings and made an impact by caring for each other as a central focus of their gatherings. They shared everything they had with each other, and no one was in need because they all went through, uh, they all sold their property to provide for the less fortunate with radical sacrifice. This led to a cultural shift that continues to this day. With Christians still establishing social programs, running orphanages, schools, food programs, and other charitable organizations worldwide, we still see the impact of these groups today. And this is why we do My City Care. This is at the heart of absolutely everything we do. When we say that we come alongside, we mean it. And we're going to show a list up here on the screen in just a second. And these are some of the names of organizations that have Christian roots that are still serving and operating in the world today. We have the Salvation Army, the United Way, Habitat for Humanity, the YWCA, World Vision International, Goodwill, American Red Cross, and Samaritan's Purse, Compassion International. And these are just a few of the organizations that are serving still to this day that have roots in our Christian faith. Many of these charities are in the top 100 charities list, and several are even in the top 10 list, and are still successfully serving worldwide. It's amazing. Yeah, give it up. It's our heritage, guys. We also see the people behind these organizations and the impact of their life and personal sacrifice. One such person that stood out to me when preparing for this message was William Booth, the founder of the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army started in the 1800s, It was a movement that went around the world and today serves over 133 countries worldwide and serves over 14 million people every year. Yeah, give it up. These guys are superheroes. William Booth started the movement in London, England. He had a heart for the disenfranchised. He had a huge heart and passion for reaching the lost to see souls saved and London changed. And the Salvation Army started, believe this or not, in a tent, in a graveyard. We talk about messing with the message, but we haven't gone there yet, guys. I'm just saying. We might, yeah, we might need to... (laughs) Next location. Booth said that you cannot warm the hearts of people with God's love if they have an empty stomach and cold feet. And we see this every day through My City Care. Also, see a need and meet a need. That kind of sounds a little bit familiar, doesn't it? William Booth abandoned the conventional concept of church and pulpit. Instead, he took the message to the people. He led a newly formed ecclesia, a buildingless movement in the marketplace, gathering all who would listen, an ecclesia that started in the streets and the bars and the graveyards became a movement that went to the nations. William Booth had a corporate mission, but had a powerful personal conviction, not just to see his city changed, but to see the world changed. He said faith and works should travel side by side, step answering to step, like the legs of a man walking first faith and then works, then faith again and then works again, 
until they can scarcely distinguish what is one from the other. Love and impact, working in step with each other. In the book, A City Without a Church, Henry Drummond said, Christianity is the religion of cities. It moves among real things. Its sphere is the street, the marketplace, the working life of the world.